Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, you'll see an explanation for each of the hexes. Now let's go through all the different hexes and what they mean for the game, starting with incomplete hexes. The incomplete hexes at the edge of the battlefield are not part of the battlefield and not part of the game. Fighters cannot move or be moved into them, cannot draw line of sight through them, and nothing can be placed in them, and so on. Incomplete hexes are not classed as hexes. Next we've got starting hexes. Some of the hexes contain a white Warhammer Underworld symbol. These are used when placing your fighters and are called starting hexes. Next we've got blocked hexes. Some hexes have a thick white border and these are called blocked hexes. Fighters cannot move into or through these hexes. They can't be placed in the hexes, and these hexes also block line of sight to whatever is beyond them. If block hexes are adjacent to each other, some of the grid lines will be missing to help show that they are no-go areas. Next we've got lethal hexes. Some hexes have a red border. These are the lethal hexes. When a fighter moves, is placed, pushed, or driven back into a lethal hex, the fighter is dealt one damage. A fighter that is in a lethal hex can remain in it without being dealt further damage from that hex and cannot move out of it or be pushed out of it without being dealt further damage from that hex. If a fighter is in a hex when it becomes lethal, they are not dealt damage from that hex. Next we've got edge hexes, and an outermost hex on the battlefield is an edge hex in addition to any other types. For example, an edge hex that is a lethal hex is both lethal and an edge hex. If a hex is not adjacent to six hexes, it is an edge hex. Remember that incomplete hexes are not hexes. We also have occupied hexes. A hex that contains a fighter is an occupied hex in addition to any other types. For example, a lethal hex that contains a fighter is both lethal and occupied. A single hex cannot contain more than one fighter. Finally, we have empty hexes. If a hex is not occupied or blocked, it is an empty hex in addition to any other types. Again, for example, a lethal hex that is not occupied is both lethal and empty. These quick reference rules guides are taken from my main How to Play Warhammer Underworld series. So if you're looking for more in-depth rules that cover everything you need to know to play the game, then come and join me on my channel to watch that series in full. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'd love to hear your thoughts and feedback. So please join in in the comment section below. It'll be great to hear from you. If you like this content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page. And thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas and help each other out. And you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description. it will be great to see you there. Thanks so much for watching. And I hope you'll come and join me for the next video in this series. Please like if you like it. Subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games.